Hi guys, I need to give you an update on my personal chess journey, the Ruds 2000. So I hit 17.50, those dizzy highs. And sadly, a few days ago, I sort of came off, came off the rails a bit and dropped all the way down to 1600. Uh, I've managed to get back up a little bit, but yeah, it comes in waves, you know, chess improvement, it's always up and down. But uh, yeah, now is the time for reflection. So this video, I'm gonna go through six of my hardest losses on this recent downturn and try and learn stuff here so this isn't going to be like some of my other videos where i've analyzed the game and i, I know it all this is me like, asking questions learned about the position and just you know you can see the process of how, how we sort of learn at chess so i might ask you some questions as as like the viewer so that's, i think i like to think that's one of the cool things about this channel that you know we're all helping each other out because I'm not super high rated like some of the other some of the other youtubers so I got this position and already I can tell I'm tilted here this was one of my tilted games so I'd say one of the biggest reasons I, I lost all this rating was playing tired and, and like playing tilted as well so I'm playing the Karakhan as white that's how tilted I am I thought this was black <laughs> all right but let's move on from that and uh yeah we're in a game anyway so I'm playing this Karakani pawn break. Uh, the engine's saying that I could have gone for this check. And if here, we've just created a big weakness, I think. I don't see that, though. Always keep an eye out for the checks. It's crazy how many mistakes I make um, not seeing checks. And uh, I'm sure a lot of you are the same if you're similar level to me or, or lower. So I come out with the bishop here. This is all looking good. I take. Why did I take? This just seems tilty to me. This this is a beautiful bishop, and I uh, sadly disrespected it. Oh, I guess. Okay, okay. In order to win this pawn, because if I just take, they get this move with the rook. So I okay. I see what I'm doing here. Fair enough. And I let them get this check. But look how safe my king is in the center. I actually love this position. And I come out. Now, a lot of these games I was winning. You know, it's commonly the case with my games. When I do lose, it's I'm often in a one position. But I just, I get low on time or I just throw it. And this one was though, this, this wasn't even time. I've got two minutes here. No excuses. I'm trying to find like a forcing move to like open up my queen and rook. So sacrifice the bishop. Yeah. Open up the rook for like mating on this square. So I play that move. And I just unleash a queen rook battery on my own king. What should I have played? Let's have a think. I mean, like anything but that. Maybe this rook here. If, if rook so after this this maybe maybe rook here was okay the engine saying i should have played this pawn move and just left this I, in my head i had to move the bishop because i wanted to unleash this but the engine says just be cold hard serial killer and just leave all this tension and just play play a random pawn move well, let's move on to the second one. We've got another few games to go through, so let's get into this. So this is a Karakhan with the black pieces, which is an improvement upon the last game. So I come out. This is all quite normal. Now, against this, I now know this is a mistake because they can take inwards and undermine your whole center, which they do. They've got this check, but we just carry on. Now, this is bad here because of this move. No, I think I think the engine likes that this there's a fork at the end of this line. So if here with the queen on this square, I think that at the end of it the the knight gets this and forks the pawn and queen. Otherwise the queen is quite happy on this square, but it's a little bit double edged because of this because of this fork. So here my position looks all right actually, like, but. Yeah, I just blunder this pawn. 
And it's a horrible blunder because I can't actually hold on to the bishop. I can go there to, the, to defend it and hang my queen. But yeah, this is just hit. My queen is hit. I go here, take the knight. But I've just lost a pawn there. And now I should have taken away my queen and then castled, right? I take away my king because I'm feeling a little bit frisky. And they find, oh, I, I've got to show you this, guys, but this is absolutely horrible. They find the sequence, which is just, it, it's just, yeah, uh, yeah. All right. The mistake there, let's let's not dwell on their, their brilliant move, you know. That, but, yeah, the, the mistake here was, was just hanging that pawn. And this sort of alignment issue with my queen and... Queen and Bishop on like a mortal coil together and they, they sort of attack both at the same time. Quite a weird tactic, but destructive nonetheless. Okay, game number three. I hope you learn alongside with me guys taking in some of these some of these little uh, things in the Karakhan. So I take the Queen and here we're just better. So I've, I've well I've certainly equalized here as black, and in fact I'm half a pawn up. So I come out with the bishop, threatening to damage the structure, which I do. And again, this position looks so nice. What? Why are these pawn moves not good? Like I'm just shutting down this dark square bishop. The engine likes instead maneuvering the knight. I'm getting like a stronghold knight on this square here. And the engine likes expanding like this, leaving yourself with this target. Is is there anyone really high rated in the comments, guys? Because that makes absolutely no sense to me. Like this, this showing off the bishop just looks better. Maybe this is more active for my knights, to be fair. I think that's probably the idea. So, anyway, let's get back into the game. Let's stop looking at these crazy engine lines. So I go like this take it in order to damage the structure i believe if they took with the king i've got this fork at the end of it so they take with the pawn i still take there and now i just trade everything off and here i'm just i'm just way better i defend that my opponent not realizing that here double isolates my pawn and it's just really good for them or is this their best try anyway And I trade off the rooks. And here I'm in this knight versus bishop end game, but I've got more pawns. And they've got these horrible pawn islands. And this should be completely won. But, I, and in an end game, I sort of switch on my end game head, right? And I turn off my tactical head. And here I was just, fi find the move for white. I was just not, not keeping an eye out for tactics at all. And there was just this a straight up, like, early middle game sort of idea of the, the fork, the uh, the skewer. Yeah, which you don't really expect this late in the game. But yeah, it happened. So that was that one. Okay. So again, another, like, similar structure, like the Slav here. I go for this. Like, if they take, I just develop a piece. I thought that was all right. Engine doesn't like it as much. Okay, here, why is that bad? Because this pawn on the open file is vulnerable to the rook down the line, I'd imagine. But I take with it and get rid of that weakness. Now the engine says I'm actually okay. This pinning is moving the same piece twice, so the engine hates it. But it, that shouldn't be a blunder, right? Why does the engine hate it? Because they get this... This just hits my hits my bishop, and it's saying I should take that. So maybe the the queen pressure in this pawn with check, and yeah, I've just got to get castled, I think, right? Again, the engine sit because sliding back is sort of a waste of time, like tempo a waste of tempo. So the engine is saying just take it because it's important for me to like. I don't know why I'm not castling here. 
and eventually it bites me in the bum. Because <laughs> they, they find, again, my opponent find it a brilliant move, but it's it's a fairly easy to find because you, you sacrifice your queen, but you get two rooks and a knight. And that just looks horrible. And I'll, I'll, I'm going to cover my eyes for a second and just let you see how, how my opponent dispatched me here. But it was, uh, this was truly nasty. Like, I even, I even had to sacrifice my queen at the end. Like, <laughs> this is just the pitiful spite check at the end leading to his checkmate. Sad, sad times, guys. So my goal is to hit 1800 before before New Year, which seems a little bit far away right now. After losing that 150 points, but hopefully we'll come back. Here, I love this. You know, we push in the center. We love that. If they go here, it's horrible. Yeah, you just you just double isolate their pawns in the center of the board and win a pawn. And this is just completely won. We've got the full center. Engine prefers their lining up here. They're just threatening me. I guess if here they've got to defend it with the queen, maybe. And the engine says, then take the full center after. Because this is sort of a free development of the piece, because they, they have to respond to it. They've got to block in their own bishop. So it's a nice little move to throw in. Even if it's just quite a like simple threat, still a very good move. So I develop my queen here, and this is the one I'm really annoyed about. Like this is such a simple tactic, winning the rook. We threaten, we threaten checkmate. If they push the pawn, we we just take the rook, and they can't defend here with a bishop because the pawn takes right. So they throw in check. I didn't like the idea of this, 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 because of this, which is fair enough. So I had to move the king. And then I throw in this this bishop move here, but it's too late because you know there's no threat anymore. Really, they just push. the 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 rook is no longer hung behind, and I play this means move sacrificing a pawn, but getting this attack on the rook. And here again, this is completely won. But my king's dodgy, and it's just it's a little bit tricky to play this. Like, they hit my rook, so I slide over. All my pieces are looking a little bit weird. And they come out hitting the rook. So now it's sort of a target. Undefended rook here. I finally get my king up. They hit the rook, but it's... The, the rook is actually defended now. So I can just come here and defend this pawn. I take the open file. And hang a pawn. And now they've got this ongoing mate threat. And even though I'm up at the exchange here. I give them this pawn now. Even though this is best move. And they've got this ongoing threat. And eventually I think I just forgot. <laughs> yeah. So I'm setting up all these ideas on this square. And I just forget they're a threatening mate. And that's what happens guys. When you're a bit tilted. A bit tired. Probably shouldn't be playing. Probably should have a break. But. You know what it's like, you keep on playing. Now here, this this is this video has sort of descended from me like vaguely tilted to fully tilted. Now I'm playing the ruler Pez with black. I just pre-moved this like really angry, I think. And they hit my queen. Yeah, so we're in a Scandinavian. Which I don't know how to play. So I'm not gonna look at the open theory too much here because I, I don't plan on memorizing it, but I hit the queen there, they come here. Okay, so I take here. And this is a nuts line, so taking is bad. Just have a look what the engine says here. Why is taking bad? The engine likes pawn up. They castle, you castle. And then their queen is like almost trapped, I think is the... Yeah... So the, the engine's trying to trap their queen. What I did though, I took, which gives them this idea. And now my bishop is trapped. Wow. 
so this pawn actually helping there to trap my bishop. This pawn which I'm giving them there. But they don't, they they instead they they assume that these double pawns are bad when actually they're good. They trap the bishop. So they take with the queen. So I get active with my queen there. And I'm starting to try to trying to infiltrate, but what am I actually doing? Like there's no concrete threats here. And again, ongoing theme, guys, I've still not castled. Eventually do. Hit their queen, line up with the king. So this is looking a little bit better. They go for this pawn break, which is just not sound. And hit my queen. And I find this great move. In between move, before dealing with the queen issue, we've just got this check. They can't take because of this. This pawn being pinned to the king. So they have to just move their king. And now I... Why didn't I just take the piece which I won? <laughs> I did... Oh, so I realised this was an in-between move with check, winning a pawn. I didn't realise I just won the bishop as well. Ah, damn it. That's, uh, that's bad. And now I take it. So this is like the most won position ever. I'm just up a full piece. There I could have just come in and check and, and you know, it's over. Instead I retreat, getting a little bit scared for a second. <laughs> Instead of keeping my foot on the pedal, right? And now it's just, I'm just up a full piece. With 40 seconds on the clock. They defend very well. And I'm trying to bring my knight here to do something here. I do win that pawn. But they just refuse to, to trade rooks, right? I even win that rook with this little tactic here, look. Revealed. Revealed attack. Check. Hitting the rook. And after a few more moves, I'm just getting too low on time. So that's that's an overview of my recent games. Why I lost 150 ELO. As you can see, a little bit of tilt there. A little bit of playing tired when I shouldn't be playing. And as always, the time issues. These are not excuses. I'm trying to, I'm trying to you know, address it now. Like here, if I'd played more clinically. This is a perfect example. If I'd just taken here with the queen early, earlier on. Like instead of retreating with the queen, if I'd just like taken. Like here. Play more clinically and don't. Cause, because if you've got time issues, guys, you've got to find ways of speeding the game up, I think. By playing more clinically. And sometimes counterintuitively taking a bit more time to find the clinical line to save time in the future, maybe. I don't know. That's my thinking going forward. Uh, I hope you learned a bit and uh, let me know in the comments where I'm going wrong in your opinion. Uh, like and subscribe. I'll see you next time. Cheers.